pass it on to Mary. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is kind of on the fly, so <laughs> forgive me if I get any facts wrong. Uh, today I'm going to talk about vegetarianism. So I guess I kind of into the garden, but you know, I've been vegetarian since I was 13, or pescatarian, so I ate fish, and then turned vegan when I was like 18, and, um, and I've been vegetarian for five years. So this is something I know a lot of, <laughs> a lot about because I've done it for so long. So how many people here are vegetarian or know a vegetarian? <laughs> um, well, was, today I'm going to talk about the benefits of vegetarian, but first I'll talk about the different types of vegetarian. There's many different labels to the point where it's kind of annoying, but the main ones to think about are pesca uh, pescatarian, which is the ones that eat fish and have along with everything else. They just want to eat red meat or poultry. Then there's regular uh, vegetarian, or lacto-ovo, which they don't eat any meat of any kind, but they eat eggs, milk, and their dairy products. And then there's vegan, where they don't eat anything um, from meats, no dairy, no eggs, no, no gelatin, anything, like anything with an animal product in it, which seems really hard, but for me it's easy now because uh, I don't know, I'm so used to it. But um, So the benefits of vegetarianism. So first of all, obviously the animals. Animals are something you'd have to talk about. They, there's a lot of cruelty involved with animals, um, with how we treat animals. And this is uh, vegans a lot of the time, and vegetarians are vegetarian for that reason. But the second one is environmental. It actually, for cows, produce more methane gas than cars do. So people ate less less cow meat, then there would be less. Uh, environmental issues, less methane gas coming into the air. But also, it takes a lot of grass to feed a cow and feed farm animals. So, and that causes, it takes water to grow everything. So it actually, we're saving water as well as saving the environment. As, and lastly, is, is it healthy? Which, there's a lot, there's been a studies, I remember that I, watched this one, uh, I think it was a TED talk, about the 10 top deaths in America. And besides accidental deaths, there are, like, vegetarianism and veganism have had statistical research in order that lessens your chances of it. So, and besides that, it also helps you, it helps you have full, more whole foods or you know, focus on eating more fruits and vegetables, which people don't really eat a lot of. And when you're vegetarian, you eat a lot of vegetables, which you should be doing. It's recommended by the government, the food from pyramid. And lastly, it's also very cheap. Um, when I was in college, it actually helped me vegetarian. Besides, besides the actual, there are some obscure like vegan things you can get that are very expensive and organic and like five dollars for that, but. Um, on the other side, meat is also very expensive. I found a lot is a lot of my friends in college were all very poor, so we never ate meat because we couldn't afford it. <laughs> so it ended up being pretty cheap, which is also um, pretty easy to do because vegetarians, you know, we eat a lot of beans and tofu and those and a lot of vegetables, and that's usually in rice as well. And so these simple ingredients are actually end up being a lot cheaper than you would think. So. Some people would think, you know, how do I become vegetarian? Like, what would I do if I didn't eat meat? But there are actually a lot of plant-based proteins. There's obviously tofu, which scares a lot of people. I think it's kind of like this white, flavorless object. But the other thing is, it's like eggplant, where whatever it's in, it's going to soak up. Also, there is a way to do it right, which is, and if you do it right, then it's great. Um, also, there, there are other forms of protein that are more obscure. There's seitan, which is actually a wheat gluten protein. Um, it kind of takes on the texture of meat more than anything else. And it's, it's kind of strange, but it has an interesting enough texture in what it's cooked in. And 
actually made it through. Also, my, my most favorite is, um, is tempeh, which is a tofu. It's, it has soy, but it also has wheat grains in it. And the texture of it, and like what you can marinate it in, just is like really good. So it kind of gives an interesting take on protein. And also, there's beans, which are pretty obvious there. Um, beans and legumes, like lentils and black beans and pinto beans and everything, are very, you know, they're just really easy to put into a diet. So, and lastly, there's also dark leafy green vegetables have some protein in it as well, which is pretty good. So, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about this.